Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So some interesting news in the heavyweight division. Tony Yoka's next fight day and opponent has been announced. Tony Yoka shall be fighting on the 27th of November in France. And he is going to be fighting the durable heavyweight trial horse, Christian Hammer. Now me personally, I'm more than satisfied with this level of opponent for Tony Yoka. First and foremost, in my opinion, Tony Yoka is one of the better prospects in the heavyweight division. And it's good now that he's staying active. He obviously recently fought on the 25th of September when he knocked out Johan Harpus in one round. And here we are a couple of months later, Tony yoka has got another opponent announced. And like I said, Christian Hammer, in my opinion, is a pretty acceptable opponent for Tony Yoka. Uh, Christian Hammer is a good European level sort of heavyweight. You could say he's a gatekeeper in the heavyweight division. He's obviously been the distance with the likes of Luis Ortiz and Alexander Povetkin. And he's beaten guys like David Price, Erkin Tepper, Kevin Johnson. So Christian Hammer is of a fairly decent standard. I would say Christian Hammer is a European level heavyweight. And yeah, right now for Tony Yoka, in his ninth fight, this is perfectly acceptable and another good step in the right direction. In fact, I actually said after the Johan Harpers fight, I felt Christian Hammer would be the ideal level of opponent for his next fight. And here we are, they are fighting Christian Hammer. Maybe Tony Yoka watches my videos, who knows. But yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this level of opponents. Christian Hammer is somebody who don't really get blasted out. Even when he got stopped by Tyson Fury, it took Tyson Fury 8-9 rounds, whatever it was. And yeah, all in all, Christian Hammer is a durable guy. He's also very experienced at the highest level, and he is a half-decent boxer. Christian Hammer's not the biggest heavyweight in the world. I believe he's, what, about six foot two, something like that. And he does fight a pressure style of fighting, but he comes forwards behind a high guard. He's got a really sneaky right hand, a quick right hand counter, and that shot actually was catching Luis Ortiz quite regularly. So, you know, Christian Hammer is one of those experienced veterans in the heavyweight division that's got a few tricks up his sleeve, you know? So yeah, this is going to be an interesting test for Tony Yoka. Of course, I would pick Tony Yoka to win this fight. He's the younger, bigger man, fresher, and all around, in my opinion, just a naturally more talented fighter. But, you know, Christian Hammer is one of those guys in which, if you're not good enough, he could expose you, maybe even beat you. He's that sort of heavyweight. He's that sort of um, fighter in the division, you know? Guys like David Price, Erkin Tepper, he found those guys out. But elite-level guys like Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Alexander Povetkin, they're going to beat... Uh, Christian Hammer comfortably so it's going to be interesting to see how Tony Yoka deals with Christian Hammer one thing that Christian Hammer does bring that Tony Yoka has struggled with in the amateur game is pressure although Christian Hammer's pressure is not exactly gung-ho he's kind of careful with it but Christian Hammer can apply pressure and it would be interesting to see what would happen if he actually gets on Tony Yoka's chest and starts swinging and landing punches that's the only reserve I have of Tony Yoka I think Tony Yoka He's got a lovely jab, quick feet, quick hands, very athletic. He's a very good boxer, but in the amateurs, Tony Yoka was always susceptible to pressure. And yeah, at times he did struggle with that style and actually got stopped a few times. So yeah, I certainly think Christian Hammer can ask some questions of Tony Yoka. And like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how Tony Yoka deals with Christian Hammer in comparison with guys like Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, and Alexander Povetkin, if Tony Yoka could do a job on Christian Hammer, that is a statement in my opinion. So all in all, I'm happy with this fight. The only negative, if I'm nitpicking, is the fact that, you know, Christian Hammer is coming in at short notice. Although, having said that, he was training a bit for Dave Allen, but in the middle of that, obviously, he got COVID, so that kind of scrapped that fight. But yeah, all in all, a good fight for Tony Yoka. I think this is the sort of fight he needs right now. And if he wins this fight well in good fashion, then 2021, I think we can expect Tony Yoka to really make an assault on the heavyweight rankings in 2021. But yeah, I like this fight. Share your thoughts below. Peace.